this video we will be talking more about the fuselage of an aircraft. Firstly, there are five basic components in an aircraft. The wing, the empennage, the fuselage, the landing gear, and the power plant. The fuselage is the body of an aircraft which is a long, long hollow tube which holds all the pieces of an aircraft together. Let's look at some real life examples of the fuselage. Here we have the Boeing 747's fuselage. The fuselage can be either pressurized or non-pressurized. The fuselage skin is usually stronger and thicker. Fuselage carries payload and also must be able to resist bending moments caused by weight and lift from the tail. Also, torsional loads caused by fin and rudder and pre cabin pressurization. The structural strength and stiffness of a fuselage must be high enough to withstand all these loads and overall structural weight of the aircraft must be kept at minimum at all times. Now we'll be talking, have you guys ever wondered why aircraft fuselage cross-section is circular? It's basically for two reasons. It has a better volumetric efficiency so that it can carry more seats and has no sharp corner to destroy any aerodynamic airflow. In here, we can see the example that there's no sharp uh, objects. So when the air uh, aerodynamic flows, the air flows nicely over the car like this. But when there are sharp corners like this, the air flow is disrupted and it causes the swirling over here. Another reason will be the for better volumetric efficiency so that we can carry more seats. For example, if you have a square fuselage, you only can have one, two, three seats. And the space over here is actually wasted. So if you can maximize and try and if the fuselage is circular, you can instead place four seats. Like we can see here because in a circle, the place is more maximized over here, 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 and it doesn't have any sharp corners. 